Hi there, you lovely fly fishing maniacs. My name is Ken Persson, co-founder of Samil Sweden. Welcome to the Samil channel. Do you find it hard to choose fly line to your rod? Well, many do. I get questions from people almost every week about this problem. And when I visit Facebook and internet forums, I see the question pop up frequently. A fly line is easy to determine which class it has. It's just to measure the first 9.14 meters of the line and put it on a scale. Then you check against the AFTM table on Wikipedia or other web pages. If you just happen to know the line's head weight, you divide that number with the head length to get what it weighs per meter. Multiply that number with 9.14 and now you have the weight compared to the correct reference length. If the line has a very short shooting head you can compensate that with a gram or so to keep the equation fair. That is easy enough but when it comes to rods, well that's another ball game. See it's up to the designer to recommend what fly line to use and since many designers also design specific lines it sometimes is just that particular line and that particular brand it refers to and I agree that is a bit messy to get a hang of. So sometimes it's tough to determine which line to recommend. However the last 10-12 years or so I've been using a simple but yet effective tool. It works good enough to determine the basic level of strength in a rod. Dr. William Hanneman is an American fly fisher that got irritated by the fact that fly rod numbers suddenly started to refer to totally other line weights than the standard reference we've all been using since 1962, the AFTM. He, just as myself, was taught that a 4 or 5 line was a good choice of a line class to use for dries and nymphs. A 6 weight works great as an all-rounder and even with some lighter streamers. And the 7 weight and up might be a great choice for heavier lines in streamer fishing. Light lines for small bait, heavy lines for heavy bait, easy as pie as it's supposed to be. Bill noticed that some lines from new brands had weights as 8s sold as 5s and also rods matching these heavy lines as 5 printed on the blank. So in 2002 he created a way to calculate a number that describes the strength of a rod spring. He did this by loading it down to a third of its length with cent coins and then create a matching table like a Rosetta stone for fly rods to translate the strength of a power curve to match the AFTM line numbers. While this tool has some buts and ifs, I agree, but at least we stay in the same ballpark. I've been using the common sense system by Bill Hanneman many years now to help customers and friends to get fly lines to match their different rods and it works really good. After using the tables from the web page in many years, I asked my colleague Patrick to build me a simple web-based calculator to use instead. I put a link down in the description part. To determine a rod's effective rod number, the ERN, first measure the rod's total length. Put that length in centimeters in the first window and push beräkna, that is calculate in Swedish. The result you get is a third of the rod length. I have made a simple bracket myself to keep the rod straight out, but you can use a bookshelf or similar to keep your rod firmly in place. Make it high enough to be able to download it to a third of its length with some space as margin. Then you can use a plastic bag and a paper clip to fill up with coins or other weights until the rod tip is level with the measured third of its total length. In this case 93 centimeters for a 9 foot rod. Put the weights on a scale. If you don't have one, go to the nearest grocery shop and use theirs. Put that number in the second window, press Beräkna, calculate, and there you go, the ERN and a matching AFTM number. Disclaimer, if you have a super fast rod, I recommend one class lower line than the ERN number. But for the majority of fly rods, this works actually great. And this is enough for most fly fishers to at least get a close enough match. Now. Of course this don't take away years of experience and knowledge. We must still use our own senses, skills, styles and personal taste. In other words, 
those experiences are skilled and good cars to use, and has. But we do need to use the same references when we discuss the matter of hand. If I use own brand ruler with my own references, well, then I break personal bests of trophy fishes all the time, and that make my wife to be the happiest girl on the planet. We don't need a new system, we need to know and use the one we got. My hope is that this video can help you save some good money, so you don't have to be buying a bunch of expensive lines that don't match your rods, or work to your preferred fishing method. And I also hope that we all can get back to what's important, to have a hustle-free and great fly fishing experience. Thank you for watching this video, if you like this and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you soon, see ya!